Issue 2 passed on the November ballot legalizing recreational marijuana in Ohio and the law went into effect in December. But lawmakers in the state capitol are looking to tweak the law and that's led to some confusion among residents and also dispensary owners as it's not legal to buy recreational marijuana yet. Recently, the Ohio Division of Cannabis Control said their goal is to have applications for putting this into effect by June. News 9's Chloe Mezagaitis spoke to a local medical marijuana dispensary to find out how the weight is impacting them. Well, Ohio voters decided issue two would pass, legalizing recreational marijuana here in the state. But local dispensaries are now looking to the future when things get settled. As of April 2023, Ohio had 81 medical marijuana dispensaries. Ohio Valley Natural Relief right in Wintersville has been open since 2018. Right, Owner Mike Petrella showed us around. All right, so this is the actual dispensing area where patients come in and purchase their medical marijuana. Okay. Where they specialize in everything from THC edibles to flowers to oils. We sell literally every form of marijuana you could probably think of. General Manager Sarah Davis oversees their entire operation and says compliance is key in the industry. Each night, even locking up every product, clearing their shelves to ensure just that. Davis says there's been a lot of interest since issue two passed, but there's also a lot of gray area that's come with it. We have a lot of people that are misinformed right now um, because there's not a lot of information. So we have a lot of traffic coming in. One, they already think that they can purchase. So, you know, they don't understand yet that the state hasn't set that regulation yet for sales. Petrella can attest to that. We don't know the final rules, so it's slowing us down from putting up our new facility. He's been outspoken about the benefits the new marijuana law would bring, not just to the state, but to the whole county for jobs and tax revenue. And with major plans of close to a million dollar expansion next door to house both recreational and medical marijuana, they're getting held back. They need to put their politics aside and think of the citizens that passed this and think of everyone that's in the program, all the business owners, and try to get this moving along quickly. Petrella says while not everyone agrees with legalizing marijuana, it's holding back those who are already established in the field. Petrella says that all that construction and expansion depends on what happens in Columbus. He says he's hopeful that there will be some more movement in the next few months. In Jefferson County, Chloe Mesagaitis, News 9. Hi, I'm Dylan Cleland. Thanks for watching. And here's another video to check out and be sure to subscribe to our channel.